Uh, so today we're doing a full demo of Wi-Fi Lapper. I've got my netbook, my computer, and my router. Um, so just started pit side up on the netbook. Uh, so it's there. As soon as you start pit side, it starts uh, listening for incoming connections from the phone. So I'm going to take the phone and connect to the uh, outside router. Um, so it takes a few seconds for it to do that. It'll tell you when it's done. And then as soon as it's done, you can actually go auto find IPs and it will automatically find any instances of pit side on the local network. So that prevents me, means I don't have to enter the uh, IP address. So I've already named my race. So now as soon as I hit apply, then I am good to go. So I'm going to get in the car and start driving laps and we'll be back. Uh, you can see from the status icons that all the uh, systems are working. It has a Wi-Fi connection, the OBD2 is working, and the GPS is working. So, if I just back into the street here, go do a couple laps. Oops. So when setting up your uh, laps, all you have to do is you just have to tap the screen when you're at the points that you want to be, your start finish line and split one, split two points, and the phone will automatically uh, set split points for you. And then on future laps it'll read out your uh, sector times as you go around as well as your final lap time when you hit the start finish line. Best practice is to have your start finish line just before you enter the range of the rotor and that way the uh, people in the pits will get your most recent lap uh, just after you've completed it. So I've now set all three of my split points and I'm now proceeding back to the start finish line which is just a few uh, hundred meters away. There is the start of my first lap. You should be able to see the um, white line indicating the speed distance graph of this current lap. So if I speed up, it gets higher, slow down, it gets lower. On future laps, there will also be a purple line indicating my best lap so far so that you can tell whether you're carrying losing time out of each corner. There will also be a uh, live plus minus indicating how far ahead you are of your time from the previous lap. This particular run of Wi-Fi Lapper, I'm using both the OBD2 reader, which is uh, between my legs, in my OBD2 port, and I'm using my 10 Hz Bluetooth GPS, which is sitting beside me in the passenger seat. Uh, so you can see that the uh, speed distance graph is actually updating quite rapidly because of the uh, nice GPS unit that I'm using. And at the completion of this lap, we may have our first transmission to the uh, pits. Although since my start finish line was after uh, where I crossed the Wi-Fi router, it might actually take another lap before this lap gets transmitted to the garage. Uh, 
Uh, so now you should be able to see that there is a purple line indicating my best speed distance graph for this um, circuit. And also you can see that I'm basically tied with that time. So if I were to hit the brakes in a place that I didn't before, or get more speed in a place that I didn't before, then you'd see the uh, plus minus indicating that I'm ahead. So right now I'm actually a second ahead. And uh, that is actually just for the current sector. It doesn't show you the entire lap. And that's because that might be too much information for someone to take in at a glance. So you can actually see that the, um, the 10 hertz GPS gives you enough uh, accuracy and precision that you can actually see the shift points as I accelerate as little flat spots as uh, the uh, velocity increases. So if I go fast, you can see that I'm getting more ahead and if I hit the brakes here, then I start losing time on my previous lap. And this will probably be the first actual transmission of a lap since it's the first time we've had one stored as we came around. Alright, so the yellow flag went off the Wi-Fi on that time. That means that it probably transmitted that lap. Which is good. That means that the pit side people will have access to my coolant temperatures, engine RPM, uh, accelerations, velocities, lines. They should be able to do lots of, give me lots of advice with that data. And in fact, Wi-Fi Lapper supports the transmission of messages from the pits to the, your phone, either via a text message or by using the pit side application. So if you need to give a driver advice to say go faster through this corner or hold off in this corner, then uh, you should be able to, as well as telling them, to, telling them to pit in case something you've noticed something's broken. And that saves you a lot of time on pit boards and whatnot. So one more thing is that if you can't get the router in a good spot so it picks up the laps every lap you do, you can actually um, have the router in your pits so that when you pit the car, it'll actually transmit the whole like stints worth of laps to your computer for analysis by the driver as he gets out. So you don't even have to have the router near the track or have a nice expensive antenna on your router. You can just uh, get all the most of the features of Wi-Fi Lap are simply by having a router in your pits connected to a laptop and you don't have to worry about lap by lap transmission. I'm going to do one more lap and then uh, we'll go take a look at what we have on pit side. speed here because I'm not carrying much, as much speed through this corner. Alright, once more past the finish line and then I'll go park it.
So you can actually look at the uh, status icons by tapping on them and it'll tell you what's up. So here it's saying it's trying to connect to Artfill, so it's for some reason failing to connect to the router. Um, here, so it says that we're reading the OBD2 device at 3.6 hertz, and if I look at the GPS, then it says it's working at 10 hertz. So that's a good way to figure out if stuff's working, and if it's not working, it can help you figure out why not. So in this case, the router has just figured out that it's there, and uh, has probably just transmitted my last lap. Okay, so now I'm going to go take a look at pit side and see what it looks like. So, here's pit side. Um, my roommate's got a bit of a weird graph on it right now. It's got velocity versus time slip. So if we switch that to a more normal one, here's distance versus velocity. So that's a lot like what we were seeing on the phone before. Um, but we can also see that we've got some data from the uh, OBD2 sensor. So we can go distance versus um, calculated engine something or other. Um, or engine coolant temperature, so we can see it's 88 degrees the entire lap, probably because my car was already warmed up from a previous test that we did. Um, we can look at X accelerations and Y accelerations, which we kind of messed up because it was on my steering wheel. We can look at time slip from my reference lap, or we can compare them all together. So here's a whole bunch together. Um, you can see the different traces, how the braking zones all line up. And you can see in the mini-map here, as I go back and forth, you can see where those things are happening. So here's the big dip where there's a stop sign. Um, here's another big dip right by the uh, start-finish line where there's another stop sign. Um, and uh, so that's pit side. I hope everybody learned lots about Wi-Fi Lapper.